Avast 2015 has arrived. Let's install it and see what it's all about. If you'd like to give Dropbox a try, then leave this checked. If you don't, uncheck it. My recommendation is always to use a custom install. Leave it with the default folder and this is where you decide what you want installed and what you may not want installed. You'll notice some new features being added in Avast 2015. Home network security is one of those things. It'll make sure your network at home is set up securely. NG. I call it next generation. It allows you to actually run a virtual computer where Avast can test anything it thinks might be of danger to your system and protect you from winding up with an infection even though there are no signatures for something brand new available. Once you've decided what you'd like installed or what you may decide to bypass, hit the continue button. This is now your last chance to check on exactly what's being installed. If there's something on here you don't want, go back and uncheck it. Continue. Agree to the end user license agreement. Starts off by creating a system restore point. You'll notice a restart is needed so that all the information that's been added to the registry will actually take effect. Until you restart your system, you are not fully protected. Stay safe, be free, I hope this helps.